Three coaches at Crandall Middle School are on administrative leave after some students were injured doing exercise as a type of discipline. The incident involved middle school girls who were in the athletic program. Some of those families have filed complaints with the district's police. Fox 4 Sean Rapp is live in Crandall. Sean. Clarice, good evening to you. Coaches have always kind of stayed on their athletes, sometimes disciplining them to make sure they do right in the classroom. The discipline that was being worked out at Crandall Middle School was for things like um, dress code violations or being tardy to class or in some cases being disruptive in the classroom. But still, for some of these girls, it was too much to handle. These pictures emailed to Fox 4 show blisters in the hands of an 8th grade girl after exercising as a form of discipline at Crandall Middle School. Girls in middle school athletics did an exercise called bear crawls on the artificial turf at the school's football field. The Crandall students injured are in 8th grade girls athletics. Over 80 students were involved. 10 students and their families have filed complaints. Three coaches are on administrative leave. Both Crandall ISD police and district administration are conducting separate investigations. A bear crawl is a full body exercise that improves muscular endurance and agility. This video from the internet shows the exercise the girls were doing on the artificial turf. All of what happened captured by school cameras, including some of the students expressing discomfort and showing their hands to the adults supervising the exercise as discipline. A statement from interim superintendent Dr. A.J. Murray includes, we are extremely concerned and are conducting a thorough investigation to determine the very best way to respond. We want our parents and community to be assured that our staff works hard every day to protect our students in the educational environment. Our students' safety and well-being is a top priority, and we deeply regret when any student is injured at school. The district knows students' hands should not look like this, especially at the hands of coaches and staff. Now, again, uh, the three coaches that were on the field on administrative leave, the district wants to know each coach's level of involvement, who knew what, who did what, and how did they respond when some of these students began to complain. As for the district, Clarice, they didn't go on camera, but they were very clear with me, very transparent in providing the right information so we would get the story right. That was certainly refreshing to see, and uh, we certainly will be following this investigation. Sean Rabb, live in Crandall. Sean, thank you.